Hello guys and girls, this is Arrow7 here and I'm bringing you a tutorial how to render in Adobe Premiere Pro or any version actually. So yeah, let's start. First thing first, I still didn't uh, got my cam... Uh, how was the name of that? Cam... God. Camtasia, Camtasia, however. So I'm gonna record with Fraps this tutorial and hopefully you don't mind. I'm gonna try to uh, make this uh, much more better quality than previous ones. So yeah, thank you for watching guys and if, I, if I'm if i helping please feel free to give me some suggestion or feedback uh, down below in the uh, comment section. So yeah, let's start this, shall we? Uh, when you start this uh, Adobe Premiere Pro you have... basically you're gonna see this window. We don't really need that one. Something like this. What you really need to do this here is to go to Capture and to choose HDV. Uh, place a location for your projects and name this current uh, project however you want. I'm gonna uh, do this like tutorial. Click OK, wait a little bit and here is the thing. In sequence presets you need to choose HDV and basically you're choosing uh, what you really need. I'm using 720p, 30fps, uh, since I'm not recording in uh, 1080p uh, for YouTube like ever ever. I don't really need that one. It's really more than good quality in 720p and basically 720p resolution is uh, 1280 with 720. Uh, you need to record uh, uh, games uh, in that resolution and as well to render in that resolution and we, you will not have actually those black bars and all those annoying things. So we are choosing that one. In settings and tracks you don't really need to change anything. If you really need something you can go and search through those options. Maybe you can find something interesting. But basically everything is fine. So you're going OK. Uh, waiting a little bit and you will see this main window. Those you don't really need. You can close those. And here's the thing, if you have only one video then you're fine. But if you have a plan to do more than one uh, videos, you're going a uh, new item, sequence. Everything is set, sequence 2. OK. So now you have for first video tab, for second video tab and you can do that as many as you want. In sequence 1, here, here what were we doing? Uh, this uh, particular window is for all sequences. So basically what you import here doesn't mean that you that, that is imported in sequence 2 or 1. Just go import, find your uh, videos uh, which you want to place here. I'm gonna put some of my older videos, I'm not gonna spoil anything in case that someone who watched those let's plays uh, watching this tutorial. So you place that here in sequence 1, you can place some other videos in sequence 2 as well. When you have this here, basically you're waiting here uh, for this to render in the down uh, right corner, but here uh, here is the thing, uh, basically what you really need to do while you're editing is probably some splitting. In Sony Vegas you could do that on uh, hotkey S, but here you can't. You need to uh, to find this tool here. Uh, which one was actually? Split tool, yeah, definitely split tool. Uh, you click on that one and it's not split tool. Why I did that, man? No, it's this one. <laughs> Razor tool. It's actually uh, hotkey C. Wow, didn't even notice that one. And this is on V. Okay. Can be like that. So, when, when you find that particular area which you want to split, basically you can zoom in and zoom out with mouse. You need to scroll this here. And basically you you can see your audio tab and you'll probably notice when you're started to talk and all those kind of stuff in commentary. But you just click here and it's pretty much as uh, it's pretty much splitted. Go back to selection tool, zoom out, you can select those videos and that should be fine. But yeah, when you have what you need, make sure that this particular I don't know what the hell is that line. Uh, it needs to be selected from beginning to end of your video. If it's something like that, it's gonna be rendered till here. 
not really till here and your video is gonna be screwed up and you need to render that again so make sure that it's selected everything till the end of where you want to render when you have that you can go file you're going export media now I'm gonna show you my way of rendering format H264 uh, is gonna be mp4 believe me it's much more better than Windows Media Video or AV in Sony Vegas and it's much more faster uh, I have uh, uh, Core 2 Duo uh, E8400 on 3 GHz and for 15 video I'm waiting in Sony Vegas in Windows Media Video format like 1 hour and 15 minutes here it's done for 20 minutes so it's like 4 times faster in worst case 3 times faster but it's a lot lot faster and uh, CPU basically doesn't use that much power for that long time so yeah make sure to try this one and if you don't like it's my fault believe me so H264 uh, presets is basically default you don't need to change that one output name click here select your destination your name of this clip and click save export video expert audio you need both of those filters basically you don't need to do to anything here it's your choice same here same for audio same for ftp video is uh, what you need really here uh, TV standard you choose uh, between those two basically depends on which region you live uh, frame to, uh, 1280 720 you need that for 720p on YouTube without black bars frame rate 29.97 field order none pixel aspect radio 69 profile main so basically you don't need to change anything I'm not even checking this you can do that but as you can see uh, improves render quality with degradation in encoding speed so if you, have, if you have enough speed basically you can do that but I don't really need uh, bitrate encoding VBR one pass and here is the thing target bitrate is probably the main main factor in quality of your videos and if it's 6 you're gonna have eight, um, 813 megabytes for like 20 minutes long video I'm doing videos at 4 most of those and it's gonna take 550 in worst case I'm putting 6.5 which is like 70 megabytes less and quality is pretty same there is no difference between uh, 3.5 and 4 but if you have some small details like I don't know if you're doing I, I don't know really depends on game and graphic but try both I I prefer 3.5 but sometimes I'm putting 4 depends on game and area where I'm playing if it's dark area and all that kind of stuff I'm putting 4 in tutorials I'm putting 6 or maybe higher if I'm recording with fraps or if I'm recording some gameplay which is shorter than 5 minutes I'm definitely putting 6 megabits uh, only to make sure that quality is better and yeah I would put in my old videos uh, higher but I, my internet connection is really really slow and for like 20, uh, 200 megabytes I need one hour so basically I'm uploading all my videos for like two or three hours maybe more if they are longer than half hour so yeah it's really complicated in terms of uploading for me so yeah target bitrate make sure that you try a couple of those start with 3.5 then 4 then 5 or however you want maximum bitrate um, on the other side doesn't change anything don't really even need to check that uh, to move that it's not gonna do anything to to your uh, file size when you have that just go export and you're good to go so that is whole point in this tutorial I show you my example you can try that and if works well for you if you're uh, fine with that quality just say thank you down below the, to make sure me that I know that I did something good so yeah that's pretty much everything guys hopefully you enjoyed hopefully I helped and till next tutorial have a good day and yeah have fun